while nmap is a tool that gets used for the network scanning and it is used by ethical hackers for unharmed purposes well first of all before using this tool you have to install it into your linux distribution this tool can be used in mac and windows operating system as well but i'll show you that how you can use it in kali linux so before that we have to install it and the command for that is sudo apt get install and map hit enter it will ask you for your password give it your password and it will download and install and map i have already done that that is why it says zero upgraded zero newly installed now let's see how it works first of all i will write here sudo and map space hyphen hyphen help this command will show you all the flags that are available with this command and all the things that you can perform with this nmap tool or this nmap command. Now let's move ahead and now let's scan the network and I'll show you that how you can scan your network fast. The command for that is sudo nmap space let's scan google.com well if you do by this way it will take more time but if you add a flag in here which is hyphen capital f and now if you hit enter it will do the processing very fast if you press your upper key or downward key it will also show you the remaining time that will require to complete the process or complete the scanning here we have all the information from google these are the ports that are open which is 80 and 443 and these are the services as we know port 80 gets used for http services and 443 gets used for https services so this is how you can use your nmap command to scan a network now let's scan an ip address with our nmap for that i will write here sudo nmap space hyphen f 192.168.1.1 make sure to use capital f instead of small f hit enter and now it will scan this IP address. What if you want to scan a range of IP addresses? For that purpose, just write the range at the end of your command. As you can see here, the IP address is 192.168.1.1. I want to scan from 1 to 30. To do so, I'll just add hyphen 30. Now, from 1 to 30, IP addresses will get scanned from this command. I will just hit enter now. So here you can see it says 21 seconds remaining. I have just pressed my downward key. Now it says 16 remaining. It means it will take 16 more seconds. So we will wait for it. So we are done with everyone. As you can see here, here it says 30, 29, 28, 27. And if you scroll up, you will have the information about each and every IP address that you had entered in your range. So this is how you can scan your range. Now what if I want to give it a list of IP addresses or a file in which I have a list of my IP addresses and I want to scan. To do so, I'll show you that how you can do that. First of all, we need to create a file. So I will write here touch lists.txt. So we have successfully created our file. Now let's see if we have anything in that list. The command for that is cat lists.txt hit enter we do not have anything in here. So let's add some of the IP addresses in that file. So I will just write here nano lists.txt hit enter and now let's add some of the IP addresses. So I will write here 192.168.1.1 and for the second let's have 192.168.1.2 and for the third one let's have 192.168.1.3 you can add as many IP addresses as per your liking. So I will just get out of this, control X, press Y, hit enter, and we are good to go. Now let's give this IP address list or file to our nmap command. So I will write here sudo nmap space hyphen I capital L, and after that name of the file, which is lists.txt, hit enter, and now it has started to scan the file with IP addresses. It will take around 7 seconds. So we are done with our file as well. Now I'll show you that how you can scan a particular port. As we know we have multiple ports like 20, 22, 25, 
AT443 some of them gets used for HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, DHCP and many more. So let's scan a particular one. I'll just write here sudo and map space hyphen p. Now I'll write the port number. I'll write here 22. After that write your desired domain. I'll go with google.com. But what if you want to scan more than one port? Let's say I want to scan from 22 to 25. Now if I hit enter this command will scan 22 to 25 port numbers with single command hit enter and now it has just started the process as you can see here here it says 22 is ssh 23 is telnet 24 is prime mail and 25 is smtp and the state is filtered so this is how you can scan your port now in case if you want to search the port or if you want to scan a port with its name to do so again I will use the same command but instead of adding the port number we can just write the port which is HTTP or it can be HTTPS, it can be MySQL, SMTP etc. And now if I hit enter it will just scan the HTTP port as you can see in here. TCP is open and 8008 is filtered at this moment and both are HTTP services. Now what if you want to scan more than one port? To do so, we just need to add comma after first port and then write the second one. I will write here comma mysql hit enter. Here you can see we have all the data that we wanted. Now I'll show you that how you can scan all the ports on a particular domain. To do so, I'll use the same command but instead of writing the name or port number, you just need to use a flag which is hyphen p hyphen and now if you hit enter, it will scan all the ports that are available on www.google.com. Now we have one more type of scan that is known as aggressive. For that purpose, we just need to use nmap minus a flag. This flag will do the aggressive scan on our ports or on our IP addresses. So you just need to do like this and it will do the aggressive scan. Again, it will take a little bit of time, but it will show you a lot of results and a lot of information at the end. If I hit enter in here, here you can see it says about 0.00% done. It means it surely gonna take a lot of time. So you have to be patient. We are done with our aggressive scan and now let's move ahead. I'm sure you have an idea about trace route. Let's trace out any prominent website. For that, I will write here sudo and map space hyphen trace route space domain name. Let's say I want to go with facebook.com and now if I hit enter, let me correct my spellings in here and now if I hit enter, it will trace route facebook.com. So here we are done with our trace route and here we have all the information about the trace route on our facebook.com and that brings us to the end of today's video and I hope now that now you have better idea and an understanding that what nmap is and how you can use it especially on Kali Linux. I will get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.